Have you ever wondered what it would be like if we had actual hover goat and torchwood variants in Garden Warfare 2? Yeah, me neither. So with that in mind, I give you the Tree X1000. But it's not just a costume. This is actually a Torchwood variant. Don't believe me? How about now? We're back on the Purple Zombies Loads of Variants mod, so I just want to say thank you to him for providing this. Links down below, as always, make sure you go and check him out. And one of my favorite things about this mod is that we actually now have Hover Goat and Torchwood variants. More specifically, I mean, there is it goes beyond just the costumes, but each specific Hover Goat and Torchwood costume is now a variant. So I want to have a look at a couple of them. I thought we'd play around with the Tree X1000, or should I say uh, Ancient Dwemer Tree slash Thanos Tree. I've been playing a lot of Skyrim recently, and I could swear down I've fought this thing at some point. I want to look at the Tree X1000, 1000 and we'll have a look at the Wishmaker. So Thanos tree uses a toxic tree bark to spread toxic damage to enemies. Keep firing to increase how fast you shoot. Okay, that's interesting. So as we keep shooting, the rate of fire continues to increase. Uh, let's play Team Vanquish. Yeah, let's play Team Vanquish on Zombopolis. Uh, we could do Sandy Sands, couldn't we? I want to play around with Thanos tree. I want to play around with Aladdin goat and we'll, we'll see which one's better. And do me a favor if you're new around here, you haven't already subscribed to the channel. Yeah, do you know what? We'll go back to this one. We are on the road to 250k. So if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Turn on notifications to gain an inch. Let's play some Thanos tree. I really want to see how much damage this thing's hitting. Because imagine if this hits like at least even six or seven damage. Imagine the damage output on that by the time we actually kind of reach full tilt. I'm seeing three, four, lots of twos, threes, and fours. Five, six, six. And I'm dead. Laser, laser, laser. Okay. How about that for a heroic foot rub? Okay, so Imp dies kind of quick. I'm kind of trying to get a gauge for like exactly what the damage output is. I'm not going to be able to calculate that in my head because I wasn't very good at maths. Now let's get a smoldering going. What a waste of time that was. Radical mammal. Love the backup dancer just vibing in the background. Release the to make the motherfucking brain warm. See, this one seems kind of mad because it's like you're basically between this and smoldering. You're kind of switching between two modes. You're either doing toxic damage or fire damage. Leaf shield. Oh, I could be in trouble. If I could just tramp it. Yep, there you go. Fair and balanced. <laughs> I feel like this Z-Mech is going to die in like two seconds. Yep. <laughs> Might not have even been two seconds. See, this guy, he got the best of both worlds. Before I got a Hadouken down my throat. Du -du 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 Nanny? What the hell did I get shot by? I'm just slightly scared. All right, not too bad. I do like the gimmick where his rate of fire keeps on increasing the more he keeps shooting. It means basically when he gets to full tilt, he can just laser you down in like half a second. But now I want to try the Aladdin goat. I'm going to go Lunar Landing, I think. But first, a word from our sponsor. What you call that clothing? Forget about it. If yous wants to defeat Oxide, yous going to have to go to WolfyPlaysMerch.com and buy everything. So what's the Aladdin goat even saying? I didn't even read his description. Okay, so he's a three round burst. That's interesting. I feel like, hold on. The Wishmaker will make your dreams of plant genocide come true when his projectiles leave behind magic dust that harms plants. Oh, okay. So his shit actually leaves a trail that can do damage. Oh, is that what it's referring to? I need to kind of, I need to look into this. Hold on. Okay, so it kind of works like Park Ranger a little bit. Or Alien Flower. Feels like a more appropriate comparison. Okay, that's quite cool, actually. So he's basically a three-round burst Alien Flower. I quite like that. That, sound, that sounds like my cup of tea. The damage on it didn't seem too bad either. Burst in, what, 39 damage? You know, when I can actually hit him, that is. Oh boy, here we go. Hold on, let me get the... Uh, get out of here. I don't know who that was to go for. I don't know who to go for. Oh, hmm. Oh, what? No, double teabag. Oh my, okay. The one taunt wasn't enough. Fuck me. Okay. Just had to make absolutely sure I knew I was being disrespected. Yeah, thanks, mate. I think I got it. Please tell me this is the same Torchwood. Oh, he is fucking dead. He is so dead. You're already dead. Kill him. I want this kill. I want this. Wait, wait. 
No, no, bitch. Like, it's not bad enough that the computers teabag you. Have you ever in your life been double teabagged by a fucking heap of data? Alright, we're barely even winning this. How the hell am I alive? On a level. I feel there are about 11 different points in that last gunfight where I should have just been deleted. Okay, so we played Thanos True, we played the Aladdin Goat. Uh, as far as which one I think is better, I know even though I actually did better with the Aladdin Goat, possibly gonna give the nod to Thanos True. Played pretty shit that game, so. I feel like Aladdin Goat's gimmick is just something that I personally like, just because I'm kind of a simp for Alien Flower anyway. I feel like Thanos Tree, realistically, probably more useful. I'd like to think you'll never find out because you shouldn't be playing them in multiplayer. Don't be a dickhead.